guys? This is Dara and Althea. And for this second video, we're going to talk about microorganisms. What is microorganism? A microorganism is any living organism like bacteria and others that cannot be seen with the naked eye. That's right, another bacteria. The organism were able to live during the birth of earth known as bacteria. Singular bacterium. Bacterium is any single-celled organism. Most bacteria have cell wall that protects them. But for some bacteria that don't have cell wall, they have capsules to support them. You may observe that some bacteria are shaped like sphere, rod shape, and rods or spiral shape. Ugh, they look gross. Yeah, kinda. And now, let's go to protists. Protists are also single cell organisms that have nucleus. They are often found in mature environment. Protists may look like an animal or plant. An amoeba is a shapeless creature that is often found in fresh water. It, it has pseudopods to enable it to move. Pseudopods are feet-like structure. Paracinium are widespread in fresh water and others and are often very abundant in stagnant basin and ponds. Cilia. Cilia are short, hair-like organelles found in cells. Right. Some proteins have tail-like structures to move. This is called flagella. The euglena is a plant-like protist. It has chloroplasts that enable it to make food. Do you notice that after it rains, there are small plant-like organisms near a dead log? Well, they may come in white and brown colors. These organisms are called mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungi. Dar, could you please tell them what this fungi is? A fungi were considered plants for many years. They don't move actively like plants. They also have cell walls, but they don't have chlorophyll and tissues that are present in plants. And most of them are considered as decomposers. And also, it has a tube-like extension called hypae. Going to beneficial and harmful microorganism. Soy sauce, vinegar, wine, and cheese are fermented using bacteria. These condiments that we add in our food for additional flavor are produced with the use of bacteria. Bacteria also help plants to take in nit nitrogen present in air. Nitrogen is essential to plants. Plants can take in nitrogen directly unlike carbon dioxide. Bacteria found on the root of plants help fix nitrogen so that it can be absorbed. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.